It's the demonstration of the Sync Lockpick. We're in a 2010 Ford Edge. This vehicle does not have a factory rear view camera. We're going to go ahead and enable that with the interface. And we also have installed a front camera as well. And we'll demonstrate that. We'll go ahead and initialize the interface, turn the key on. Then as the radio boots, the lockpick interface will be ready for its initial setup and programming. You get text that shows that it's connected. Setup's going to start in one minute. We allow the radio and the vehicle to completely finish its startup before we put in our own programming. Okay, one minute has passed. Now the lockpick setup is beginning. It's going to go through a set of different questions. First question is, do you have a factory rear camera? In this particular case, we're going to say no, we do not. It says, do you want to add a rear camera? Yes, we do. Will you also be adding a second camera? And yes, we are. You have an option for an automatic DVD in motion. That way you don't have to push any buttons to enable a DVD. It just happens all the time. You have no loss of nav function with this. So we're going to select yes. And it's going to say radio programming is now beginning. It's going to go ahead and reflash the radio for the options that we've just set. Radio reboots. Now all the functions that we've selected during setup are operational. Gives you a message the setup is complete. Now we can demonstrate by placing the vehicle into reverse. Camera options enabled. We have our own lockpick camera in place. These have the uh, distance lines on them. Put it back into a drive or park. Automatically turns off. And again, we can push our steering wheel buttons. Same button, just hold it two seconds. And you have choices that will show up. First one you can see is enable nav view. So if you want to put it in an address while in motion, you can just select yes. And it will allow you a 60 second time to put in your addresses. Push the button again. Give you an option for view the rear camera. We're going to go sit and select yes on this. Now this is in drive. This will operate while in motion in any gear. You can turn on the backup camera at will. Turn it off by pressing the steering wheel button. Same one. Camera turns off. Let's demonstrate the front camera now. It's going to return to the last function that you were on, so that was a rear camera. We'll advance past that one. It's going to view the second camera. We'll select yes. In this case, this is our front camera. We have one on the front of the vehicle, so at any time you can turn that camera on. You could also use this as a baby cam, have it on the interior of the car, so you could you know, see the back seat and the passengers there. Turn it off, same button. Earlier during setup, we had set the DVD in motion for automatic operation. That means that you don't have to press any buttons to see the DVD when, regardless of what gear you're in. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that by pressing the media button. We have a DVD in place right now. The vehicle is in park and it operates just as it would in any normal operation. We'll go ahead and place the car into drive. And you notice the picture doesn't change. The uh, DVD will continue playing while in motion. Also, it has no effect on the navigation system while you're doing this. So you can go ahead and set a destination to this. Your route can begin. The uh, prompts will continue while you're driving along, even though you're viewing the DVD. And anytime you can switch back and forth between the map and the DVD, and you can see that everything is, is working as it should. You can also set the lockpick for you know, a multitude of different options. One of them would be that you don't want automatic DVD in motion. You want to set it manually, and that requires the user to actually press the buttons on the steering wheel to enable the DVD. We can demonstrate that. We'll go back through the setup again, and you can do that anytime with the lockpick. Again, just press and hold the uh, string wheel button. You can advance through the different menus until you get to change lockpick settings. We'll say yes. It's going to begin the setup. One of the uh, screens that you'll see when you're going through the setup process for the second time is the option to restore the default settings for the radio. This returns the radio right back to the factory settings before the lockpick was installed. It also gives you the option of removing the lockpick, and again, it will restore the radio completely back to its original settings and allow you to take the lockpick out and put it into a different car. 
we're going to select that we don't want to restore the defaults or remove the lockpick. Okay, now as we return back to the setup process, you're going to have the option again of whether you want automatic DVD in motion, yes or no. This time we're going to select no. It's going to reprogram it. Okay, the lockpick setup is complete. Now the, the automatic DVD function has been removed. We'll go ahead and put it back on the DVD mode here. We're in park, so the video is available. As we move into drive, it'll return back to a block screen. This is just standard operation. You go back to the steering wheel now, we can enable that function. Press and hold it. Get back to our lockpick menus. This says now enable DVD view. We're going to select yes. Now the DVD is active. That will remain active until again you come back and say I'd like to turn that off and it'll turn that function back off again. Or if you shut the car off, restart it, things like that will also reset the function.